they might. Um, either way, screw rankings. These players are amazing, both of them. Oh, Regardless yeah, of sure. whether or not they're ranked, I think they're they're ranked level for sure. No, no matter what anyone says, that's undeniable. And this is going to be a lot of fun to watch. I'm, I'm very excited I, I'm to interested see. Interested to see who Jelani pulls out. Is it going to be Palu? Okay, yeah, Palu or Zero Suit. Um, I think does Zero doesn't Zero Suit have trouble with? With Lucina? I'm not sure. I, I can't really imagine her doing bad in it. Yeah, know? no, for sure. It could just be a pre preference thing. All right. Starting off the match with the auto radical to try to catch uh, Tyrax dashing in. I almost called him Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I know Tyrax, he's really, like I said, disciplined. So he knows to just go for percent and send you off stage and just rely on his ledge trapping. Absolutely. He has really, really good ledge trapping. And you have to be careful because Tyrax is very aware of his uh, frame one invincible up B, mm -hmm. especially out of fake Palu combos. Yes. Um, if you go a little bit too far in your combo extension, you'll just get up beat out of yep. shield. Or, or even up if you're a little bit too slow. Like exactly, yeah. yeah. You'll just so get up beat out of the air. Yeah. But uh, Jump Steady with the uh, ledge trapping of his own. The matchup's going to be a lot of juggling from both characters. Well, Lucina, of course, a little bit floaty, but she can time her aerials to, like, hit you when you try to juggle her. And then, of course, that could be baited. So it's going to be a lot of faint jumps from uh, Jump Steady. It's going to be a lot of reaction forward airs and bears from Tyrank when he catches Jump Steady jumping in a spot where he can just react. Uh, that, that's Tyrank go-to ledge uh, trapping. He likes to um, shield right in your get-up attack range and just react to whatever you do. Yep. Uh, you try to aerial through his shield, he'll back air you. You try to get-up attack, he'll up you. Um, yeah. It's very effective, Lucina. Or sometimes he'll stand outside the range of your get-up attack without shield, so he can react with like yeah, a smash. Yeah, exactly. Quicker, but he's very it's reaction less trapping. I think wow. is the name of the game. Here. And that, that was a good guess because he, he uh, Jump Steady immediately put up his shield. The only reason Jump Steady didn't shield there because he was still in the lag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was right. And that's the down tilt uh, tech chase down smash. Um, a lot of it's a really fast tech chase situation to be put into. Yeah. They won't tech and get down smash, and that down smash covers a lot. Yeah, but it's quite literally a setup with Lucina. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, good catch. That's going to be punishing Nair every time up close, because Nair is like very minus on shield. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to you know, complain about Palo Nair. It is one of the most whiff punishable moves in the game. Thank God. Right? Yeah, right. I, I can easily imagine a game where it isn't, and nobody would like nobody would bat an eye. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a good roll uh, position from, Jelan, uh, from Jump Steady, but he isn't able to really get the grab that he wanted. Wow, good awareness. parry from Jump Steady. Yeah, he needed to react to that parry there. Very good drop. A lot of people go for uh, uh, parries there instead of like spot dodges now. In Smash 4, like spot dodges the wave. But in this game, parry a lot more risky, but you get a little bit more off of it, depending on the, you know your position. Tyrants looks so comfortable just uh, holding center stage and, and waiting for Jelani's uh, approaches and just yeah. swatting him out. And the Jelani, the parry into fake shield grab, because you know Palu's like, land, like her tilts aren't great. Her uh -huh. out of parry game isn't amazing unless she dash attacks, right? So this is very. You gotta be very uh, reactive and bait shield a lot in a matchup like this. And, and Jump Steady is very experienced in that. And uh, Tyrank's just uh, reversing the, the tilt from Jump Steady. And um, this is a scary situation to be in, like near the ledge or in the corner against Tyrank. Yep, wow. off the drift. Yeah. So a lot of people, when they get down thrown by Palu there, they know that they're not in immediate danger. They're, just in, they're in danger of like a mix up, a double jump mix up or a dash attack, right? Mm -hmm. So they, they try to be patient. And then that covers the patience. Yeah. You can react, obviously, but a lot of the time they're so focused, they're so hyper focused on dash checker, like double jump read up air that they, you know, they get hit by the side B. Yeah. Jump City has really good parries, but like you said, Palu not having the greatest um, out of parry yeah. game. It's, it's a lot of it's dash attack, right? So, yeah, dash attack. But Jump City's often for baits in a lot of those spots. And there's the landing side B, yeah. and that's going to take the stock. This is a very close game. Yeah. Well, oh, great empty well, land. Can't yep. parry a grab, so. Able to get the bear out of shield on that. Nair, Nair being very, very with punishable. It's like at best minus nine, and that's that's like nothing. Maybe ten. Oh, wow. Going for the downer, and yeah. Tyrank's upping, and jump steady. Yeah, he not was, missing the tech. He was a little bit quicker on that dare. I don't disagree with the dare, because like he he was in a good spot where mm -hmm. Tyrank was out of a jump. If Tyrank didn't react right away, that dare like would have completely turned the tide of the match. But yeah, that, but, that move is invincible on frame one. Exactly. If you're not. Perfect, oh, close to perfect on your timing. You're yeah. gonna get hit with it, and uh, jump steady not being ready to tech it. Yeah, and of course, even like that's not even. Sometimes it's not even up to your timing. It's just they have time to react. If yeah. you have a frame one, like a frame one invincible move, you can react. Like yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, have time to, you have a lot of time. So Tyrank's able to get the stock with the missed attack from jump steady. But see if jump steady's gonna be able to clean it up. And Tyrank's, of course, let's see if he's gonna be able to play the game or play his game the way he was playing it. And also adapt to jump steady as well. And yeah. there it is, the the shield in, in your uh, get up attack range and upping your uh, uh, yep, cross up aerials. The aggressive option. Lucina can always up close, always um, 
of B Palu's fair. This didn't used to be the case. Uh, Palu time low fair pre patch. It was actually used to be minus three. If really? you shielded right away, you, she couldn't up B it. But now, after the nerf, added two frames of lag, minus five. If she is up close, no matter how well she times that forwarder, it will get up B. She has to space it outside the range. And uh, Tyrings is definitely going to be able to pick up on that. Oh, on yeah. Window. Absolutely. Jump steady able to catch the dash back after the space back nair from Tyrax. That's another one of those side beats you talked about trying to cover the drift away, but Tyrax mixing, mixing up his drift there. Jump steady barely missing the timing on that neutral getup. Read the spot dodge, excellent stuff. Able to read the D or, uh, react to the DI in from Tyrax. Attempted to mix up jump steady there. Okay, Tyrax able to spot dodge the entire nair and reverse the situation. Ooh. Not ready for the roll up from jump steady. Not going to punish the up tilt on shield instead of off it to roll out. There's a dash attack, the burst option from Palutena. Yeah, that dash tag powers through. If you think you're going to press button dash tag, it'll win. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. That shield is impervious, but yeah. back here being able to close it out. Jump steady with a, a stock lead, but Tyrant definitely could just take it here. Yep. Okay, jump steady. Wants to hold on to this lead as long as he can. Calls out the shield with that with that far-reaching dash grab. Very quick from, from Tyrant. And that's uh, calling out the up cancel on the platform with the up air. And He's like, where do you think you're going? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. That's not going to work on me. Ooh, did that catch the jump? Yeah, but... Yes. He tried to get the RAR to con convert more damage instead of going for like a single hit bear, mm -hmm. but he was a little bit... Uh, didn't go as far as he needed to. Jump said he recognized the cross up there, didn't go for the immediate shield, but he's That's able another to uh, landing uh, up air from Tyrang. Yeah, yeah. Tyrang positions himself in such a way where it's very tempting to dash grab him, uh -huh. and the second he sees you're about to do it, he full hops away, you dash grab the air, he lands with all, like a juicy up air combo. Yeah. Yeah, very, very... Uh, that's a little bit more advanced, Lucina. Those baits with her jumps and drifts, mm -hmm. um... It's hard for her to do because she's so floaty, but like it's it's very effective and you get so much damage. Yeah, and um, every Once time again, you saw it again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and and Tyrank, he he knows when your opponent's gonna adapt to it, and he'll just do an empty grab. Yeah, exactly. Off stage or like empty land button or empty land dash back and or like, shield break. Yeah, and, oh, exactly. Yeah, or you shield break. He yeah. watches you like scramble in place. Good, good stuff. Shielding the entire. Oh clutch. wow, that yeah. great parry. Calls out the landing twice with the dash tag. Explosive flames a little bit too close, but Tyrex didn't get the punish that he needs. Jelani, your jump said he needed that down tilt. He that really was the did, only yeah. thing that killed there. Yeah. Up smash, a little bit too slow. Dash tag, not gonna kill. Recognize that he was gonna land in that spot. Screw dash tag, I'm gonna go for the down tilt because they're scared of dash tag. Anyway, if he air dodges, it'll hit. If he lands, it'll hit. Very good coverage. And that move being deceptively long horizontally. Yes, it is very big, and the, the angle it sends at is very scary. Ooh, going for the rising downer, maybe trying to predict a, a different yeah. teleport angle, but up till being able to kill it, uh, take the stock. Yeah, caught him jumping on the platform there, and mm -hmm. now this game is looking a lot more even for both players. Yep, reads the reads the spot dodge once again, recognize that uh, that Tyrant should be scared of the shield grab there. Fun fact about Paolo, her shield grab is slower by one frame than like than average because the oh, average really? shield grab is frame four or frame ten out of shield. Uh -huh. Hers is frame eleven. Interesting. So like he kind of has to go for those spot dodge rates because it's a little bit it's a little bit slower than usual if he does go for the shield grab. Wow. Still fast, mm -hmm. but slower. Yup, just playing it safe. He wants to build up that damage from far away. Doesn't want to overcommit to like a burst option in a bad spot. Yeah. I'm feeling a shield breaker coming. I, 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 I am too, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, Tyrank just needs one read on your shield habits, and there goes your stock at 40, but... The bait on the shield grab from Tyrank there. Gonna catch the jump from ledge as well. Good reaction. Ooh, just quicker. barely missed timing it. If he was a little bit quicker, that was that was curtains. Oh, that's so scary. Every time he shields, I mean, that's just more conditioning for Tyrank. Exactly. But, hey, jump, to be fair, Jump said he's been reacting to those very well. Yeah. Baited the ledge trump there, made him think he was gonna look at the trump, and then immediately caught the, the option. Ooh, that's scary. Every time I see the shield come up, I'm, I'm worried that Tyrant is gonna break the shield. Oh, the reaction! Whoa! Air he, dodging through! I thought he'd go for up there there. But Jump Steady, close game, reaction, uh, uh, air dodge from Tyrant being very... You have to be so disciplined and calm to not like immediately like panic. In yeah, both spots. of these players like nerves of steel, but Jump Steady taking it again with the down tilt. Down tilt read on the neutral get up there, very good timing. That was a very scary situation to be in. My I mean, goodness. both <laughs> players high percent and wow, that was crazy. No, good stuff from both players to be so disciplined there, to not go for something anti, no anti-burst options, no um, desperate take, um, uh -huh. desperate ways to get center stage. Very composed from Very both composed, of them. yeah. Um, like Tyrank, the first time, because uh, he, he jumped from ledge twice. The first mm -hmm. time he jumped from ledge, jump, double jump, delay, wait, wait, wait. He sees Jelani move, and then he air dodge. Ex yeah. The second time, again, Jump, double jump. Jelani's like, he's gonna wait. I'm gonna go for the immediate air, uh, the immediate up air. And then Tyrex is like, I waited last time. He thinks I'm gonna wait again. Air dodge. Yeah, incredible. No, the the mix-ups are crazy. I mean. Yeah, like, like you said, 
Lucina is floaty, so it's it's not that easy to mix up your landings or your uh, she gets falling juggled. aerials. Yeah. She gets juggled she does. Like, straight up. You just have to you you have to if you're not reactive with her when landing, you will get smacked. Yeah, it's uh <laughs> it's definitely scary. And that crab just barely missing. Going to um, battlefield here, Jelani looks really comfortable comboing, 55%. Yep, that's one anti-air. And I know people, you know, they like to say, Hell is near so dumb, she gets so much off of it. If you caught, like, you... It's kind of hard. At high level, you don't get hit by that move that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, they really need to read your uh, jump, or, like, uh, they need to, like, get that anti-air. They need to be right in that spot. Yeah. Sure, the timing is, is very generous for them, but, like, in those spots, the only thing you should be thinking is, like, avoid the nair, avoid the nair. That's, yeah. like, because she misses anti-air. Yeah, but Tyrants, of course... You know, not out of it after taking that much damage. He's fine. Goes for the jump away read. I like the read from uh, Jump Steady. Oh, right. And there's the Shield Breaker. Yeah. Are we going to see the push off? Yeah, that's going to be the stop. Right over the neutral B. Recognize yeah. he didn't have quite enough time to get a true punish, so he went for the Shield Breaker instead. Yeah. That's very smart. Oh, yeah. that's a timing mix up. Instead of going for the landing up air, going for the multi hit side B instead. Um, knowing Palu doesn't have many great out of parry options. Went for like the you immediate said. up air once again, and Tyrex reacted and got through it, catching his landings on the platform. See, jump steady. He needs to take the stock as soon as he can. What a reaction. But yeah, that was a really good it. back throw. And air dodging through the side B. Tyrank's yeah. oh, getting dash attack for uh, trying to make a desperate uh, play for center stage. Yeah, it was tough there. He, mm -hmm. he really wanted to land, and jump steady was just able to get the reaction. Oh, is that a jump caught? The mix up with the raw and air, but uh, Tyrank's DI'd right, got the tech on the platform that he needed. Oh, this is rough. No jump. <laughs> No, go in. I thought he'd go for the air dodge yeah, there, honestly. Yeah, I thought something the was going to happen on stage. Yeah, that was rough, because if he got hit with an immediate bear there, he was in a horrible spot. Because, mm -hmm. again, Lucina, no jump off stage. That's like a, it's free real estate. Yeah, both of these players, very even game, just playing uh, in and out of each other's burst ranges. I can I can hear Tyranx's mind from here. Go like, don't jump into space, don't jump into space, don't jump into space. Yeah, because <laughs> once uh, you get an air um, call out on a jump, and that's going to be... Uh, yeah. Bunch of percent. And Tyranx made it look like he was going to run up short hop there. Instead, dashed right outside the... Oh! Wow. He dashed right outside the range mm -hmm. and F-tilted the jump from very far away, abusing the disjoint that he has on him. Yeah. The, re the reaction with the air dodge. Ooh, not going for upper, trying to cover a, a more oh. shallow jump. Yeah. First hit, nair. Why did they nerf that move? <laughs> Why did they nerf that move? <laughs> oh. I and that shield breaker. Yeah. I thought so too, but I think uh, Jump and Steady I think was ready to parry. I think Jump Steady did too, honestly. Yeah. That's why that's why that worked. Yeah, that's the side B, uh, landing side B uh, timing mix up you were yep. talking about. Yep. Ooh, it's oh, slow yeah. turnaround getting punished with the get up attack. Uh, Tyrang's really comfortable center stage here. Jump Steady needs to make a play for center stage and, and get a kill here. Oh! Wow, he, running yeah. through with an up tilt the week, the ending hitbox of the up tilt. And that covered so much. And a really spot did. like that, the way you position yourself is key. If he had dashed a little bit closer, he wouldn't have covered the up tilt. Because it looked like he was looking for a roll there. But he dashed slightly not too far, so that in case he was wrong, he still hits him if he spot dodges, if he drops shield, if he jumps. Great adaptation from Tyrank to wait out the down tilt. Wow, um, he that's was getting not gonna take with it. it. Earlier game. You need to oh, kill wow. him here. He needed that stock. He really did. Down oh. till with bad DI yeah. is going to be able to take it. He missed the DI seven. on that. Yeah. Uh-oh. Tech chase situation. Got the jump. Okay, this could reverse quickly. Ooh, that's 34%. Went Let's see. for the tech chase on the platform, but didn't quite get what he wanted. Oh, Tyrex. dashback neutral B. Oh, no. Oh, Jelani is, there are jumps that he's not quite reacting to the hit confirms he wants. Playing a little bit scared, but he's, he's, at least his, his defense is composed, but he's like his um his offense. Uppy, Uppy, barely missing. This is crazy. That was so surprising and missed from there. He did get a parry, but like he's just so used to being in spots like that. Plus, it's a lot faster. This is a scary spot to be in for both players. Jump said he wanted the tech chase. There. Oh, tries to read the tech in or the tech in place, but instead, Jelani rolls away. Even game, pretty much. Yeah. Tyrank's playing very he's Ooh. very disciplined in this spot. Red is shield there, yeah. jump steady absolutely didn't give it to him. Yeah. Not in that spot. Oh, this is so scary. Trying to uh, call out a short hop out of shield with the four tilt. Tyrex tried to bait a full Ugh. hop in the corner there, but Jelani didn't bite. Barely air touching the side. This is such a scary spot. Oh, oh wow, he had to read in the back here. Is that going to be it? Yeah, that's very Tyrex good. taking it. The pressure from Tyrex there was absurd. Yeah, these games are crazy close. That landing up there, so a lot of people